Look at this. Am I allowed to look around the stadium at all? How weird's that? I just had to pull over and show you that. Um, is there a way just to look around the stadium at all? What a great adventure we're having today. Do not adjust your sets. This is Scotland. Look at this, it's October. And what a beautiful day. I don't even really need my jacket today, but let me tell you where I am. Just along the coast towards the lighthouse that I will show you just now is the birthplace of one of the most famous Scots of all time. It is the believed birthplace of Robert the Bruce. A famous name up here in Scotland, Robert the Bruce was the King of Scots in the 1300s and led wars of independence against the English. Scotland and England do still lock horns occasionally, but things are obviously a lot more peaceful now than what they once were. The significance of me starting the video here today though is that is a very historic and significant place that people usually visit when they come to Ayrshire. We spoke about wars and independence just then between England and Scotland and how things are now a lot more peaceful but things are still divided in Ayrshire and that is through the football. This county which isn't too far outside of Glasgow is home to Ayr United and Kilmarnock. God just look at this I bet the water's cold but this is so nice. It's coming up it's coming up quick. I'm gonna run away. Tide could move pretty quick here, I reckon. Look at that, the dunes. There's an amazing island out there. It's just like a big, like standalone island. That is so nice. Look at the lighthouse over there, where, which is near a castle where Robert the Bruce was said to have been, been born. Absolutely stunning views. Wait, let me get back to where I was though. The record in Scottish competition is 56-48 in favour of Kilmarnock with around 40 draws and the total score is 227 to Kilmarnock, 174 to Ayr. We're about to go and explore each one and also the area of Ayrshire. Please leave a like on this video, subscribe if you're new, but for now let's go and have a look around. Just driving along the coastal route back to air from where we were earlier, which is somewhere, I hope you can see down there, there's the rock, the island that I was telling you about when we were down there. And I hope you can see right out there on the tip of that land is the lighthouse where I was near earlier. And this is the coastal road all the way up to air, which is surely the most peaceful and beautiful county in all of Scotland. There's a lot, wow, look at this. I just had to pull over and show you that. How beautiful is this? Let's carry on on the coastal road to air. Not getting far on the road to air. I had to stop off again even though we only just stopped off a minute ago up there somewhere. Look at this. Filming location for hit TV series and famous book series, Outlander. You can see why it's a typical Scottish programme. It's filmed in some beautiful locations. And just look at this, not far away from air now. Might be the next stop, who knows, but let's just uh, go take a quick closer look. I'd encourage you to go and see a place like this near where you live, research somewhere you've never been before and go and check somewhere new out that you've never been. Who knows what's just on your doorstep. I've got an Airbnb discount code below which will give you money off a stay somewhere where you live. Right, let's have a look. Harbour's just down there. Wow, look at this. Little entrance to the castle. Let's have a look up here. Just check out some of these views. Scotland on a nice sunny day, you actually can't beat it. Look at that. Wow. Look at that little waterfall. 
whatever this little like dome building is the castle i was just in let's take this little path down to the edge look at this look at this what a great adventure we're having today not even seen any football stadiums yet but it's gonna get even better right will the next stop be air i don't know but let's go right so we've made it to stadium number one of the day a united football club club shop is just over there but here is the stadium now it looks promising there's a door open just over there but there's some gates open just over here let's see if we can get in have a look at the pitch or oh, looks like we can right i'm going in it's got to be done it's got to be done for you guys i love showing you these stadiums so let's take a look wow look at this Here we are, there's someone over there. I'm just gonna take a picture quickly, but look at this. Get a few pics for the Instagram. Remember to follow me, footy.adventures. Pretty cool looking stadium. A lot of standing, but then seated just here, it looks like. This is a seated section behind me with the rest of it being like standing. There's a guy over there. I'm not sure what he's doing, but let me tell you a little bit more about the stadium and about Air United as a team. Currently in Scotland's championship, they are 110 years old. Their nickname is The Honest Men. This is a line from a famous Rabbi Burns poem. If you've not heard of Rabbi Burns before, very famous here in Scotland. They have Burns Night each year, and uh, that's a night to celebrate one of the most famous Scots of all time, the poet, and he was born in this area. So hence why they have The Honest Men. You can even see that on their badge. Air United Football Club on the top and the Honest Men just below. I'm gonna put my mask on, see if I can get inside. There we go, might as well ask someone, see if I can go in. Here we go, we're in. Air United. Signed shirts and stuff, signed pictures. Hi there, um, I just came in. Am I allowed to look around the stadium at all? Yeah, no problem. Thank you. Appreciate it. Cheers. I'm gonna see if we can uh, take a look around. I'm just wondering if I could just come through and just have a look around the stadium just really quickly, just Sorry, no get worries. a few pictures and stuff. No, that's all good, mate. No worries. I thought I'd ask anyway. That's a no, but we got round through there, which is more than most, and there's a club shop, so let's have a look. God, this pandemic's really getting in the way of uh, getting inside places, but let's take a look in here. So here we are. Very nice kits, the honest men. Sponsored by Bitcoin, Hummel shirts. Very nice, look, see. The the honest men. What I'm saying about Rabbi Burns. Okay, bye -bye. So here we are, Air United. What a lovely day here in Air. Take the mask off. Um, yeah, a shame. Manager inside said I couldn't go in. But I don't know if he was the actual manager or not. But manager of the building, maybe manager of the club. I'm not sure. Whoever it was said I couldn't come in, but here I am outside Air United FC. So yeah, this is their stadium, Somerset Park, and uh, like I may have mentioned, I think when I was in there, it can hold around 10,000 people. Pretty decent size. And a weird fact I found out about this place, Man United defender Victor Lindelof scored an own goal here when Sweden under 19s played Scotland under 19s back in like 2013 or something. How weird's that? They've played a total of 34 seasons in Scotland's top flight here, but haven't played in the top division of Scottish football since the 1977-78 season. So it's been a while for them. That's a football manager challenge for you all. Get the honest men back up into the SPL. Former third Lanark and Blackburn player, Ali McLeod is probably their most famous player and manager. In the club's hall of fame, he has played here in one spell and been manager a total of three times. And get this, former 
Manchester United manager, Champions League winner, Premier League winner, FA Cup winner, biggest legend of Manchester United that there is. Sir Alex Ferguson has played here. He played for A United in his last season as a player, believe it or not, before he went on to be a manager in 1974. So a pretty cool club here, a pretty uh, pretty famous club. They've had some uh, big names attached to them, the Alex Fergusons, etc. They've got a little club shop over there, the entrance to the stadium's there, but you can also go in and take a look over there, which I just did. It's a shame they won't let me in and have a look further, but you know how times are at the moment. Let's get on and get down to their big rivals, Killy. So Kilmarnock, been here before for a recent video. I'll leave a link to that down in the description box below. It was when I visited six grounds in a day. And it was a nice, well, it actually wasn't a nice day then, but when I got to Kilmarnock, which was my last ground of the day, the sun came out. And uh, it's actually not too bad here today, actually. Look, pretty nice day. I'm gonna see if I can get in anywhere. I don't know if I'll be able to, but I'll ask. Where's he going? Is he going in? Don't think so. Right. He looks like he wants to go in. What have we got around here? The Killy Club. Long time subscriber and supporter of the channel, Alan Fox, told me that Killy are the second oldest club, professional club in Scotland. Hang on. Right, let's have a look. Are they. Before I get into the facts that I've got, you must wear a face covering. Please press the pad. You must wear a face covering. All right, let's go in. Oh, the club shop's over there. We'll have a look in there as well. The Killy Club. Actually, hang on. Before we go in there, that seems like it's a boozer. Little pub, little bar within Killy. Let me, uh, let me see if I can. No, it looks like the stadium's pretty much closed, to be honest. Which is a shame. The Frank Beatty stand. Let's keep looking around. There's got to be a way in. Um, there's a bar that's obviously open. I could ask in there, but let me see. Yeah, just before I go and try and find a way in, Kilmarnock used to be a rugby club. Hence the name Rugby Park as their stadium. They started off as a rugby club and became a football club afterwards. There we go, I remember coming around this way before. Yeah, all a bit blocked off, you see. I can probably... Nice piece of artwork on the wall there, nice mural. Artisanartworks.com, shout out to them. Probably have a look if I just squeeze the camera in. cool stadium from the inside I'd love to go in a plastic pitch haven't they not real grass but a bit more about Killy the 60s was a very big time for Scottish football a golden era if you will especially when it comes to Europe um, I covered a lot of that about Dundee in my Dundee video um, both were very successful in the 60s especially in Europe and uh, Killy have got a good uh, European heritage as well, and let me tell you why. They're one of the few Scottish clubs to have played in the European Cup Winners' Cup, the UEFA Cup, and the European Cup as well. So all three big major European Cup competitions from years gone by, Killy have played in. And I'm sure they've got a good trophy cabinet in there, which I'd love to see because they've won numerous league titles. They've won the top league once, I think, but they've also won like second division and stuff and also numerous cups as well, so I'd love to get in now. I just don't know how I'm ever gonna get in, but let's go have a look around. We'll at least go in the club shop anyway. Hi there. Um, is there a way just to look around the stadium at all? Like that? No, okay, no problem. I thought I'd ask anyway. Thank you though. No, not allowed in, so club shop it is that's just like some little hospitality suite um probably kind of by invite or whatever i don't know right let's have a look at the club shop so killy famous for their pies and they're sponsored by brownings the baker's very famous here in the area of killy on a diet at the moment so for the month of october so i'm gonna have to come back and try a pie in november 
They have two squirrels, two red squirrels on their badge. Can you name any other clubs who have animals on their badges? So that's the club shop Achilles. Still no way in. Been here twice now. The closest we've got is me sneaking the GoPro in to the side of the building just to be able to like have a look at the pitch basically. Not that I can see, but I'll have a look later. Hi there. Um, I'm wondering if you could help. Am I able to look around the stadium at all today? Oh, okay, no problem. Yeah, I thought I'd ask anyway. No worries, thank you. Yep, absolutely no one let me in, but there's another little gap here in the side of the stadium. Let's have a look. Quite a cool looking stadium here. Killy have quite modern looking from the inside. Could do a little bit of work on the outside, but so could anywhere, I suppose. But look at that. Compared to their local rivals air, they have a lot bigger, a lot grander stadium. Um, but you know, the stature of the clubs, it kind of makes sense. Here's the Hall of Fame, which I included in my last video. So I won't go into it too much, but it basically just goes into a bit of the history and also confirms that they won the league title here in the 60s. Again, golden era of Scottish football. I actually think, I don't know if this is true, but someone actually commented on a video of mine that this part here, this hotel, used to be a training center. Used to be the training pitches maybe, I'm not too sure. Can't find anything around here about it. Again, let me know if that's true. I hope you've enjoyed today's video. Please leave me a comment, please drop a like and subscribe if you're new. I will leave a video just here which YouTube thinks you're most likely to click on. I wonder what it is for you. And just here, I'll leave a playlist that you can go and watch. You can also subscribe just down below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.